Must purge the demon hordes for the emperor. Sh I'm just a turtle in cosplay. Team and T has made me a fan of Warhammer. Yep, that might seem crazy, but it's true. We have here the Joy Toy Chaplain and Terminator armor from Warhammer 40. Okay, so how did Team and T make me a fan of Warhammer? Joy Toy recently announced their Team and T line. So we got the four Turtle Bros. They look awesome. This 118th scale is new to Turtle fans, and so I wanted to see what's up with Joy Toy. One of Joy Toy's biggest properties is Warhammer. And you can see, even if you're not into Warhammer, those designs are freaking badass. So I've been checking it out. I ordered a Warhammer figure from Joy Toy so I can see what kind of figures they make, what we can expect. This is also 118th scale. I've also been playing Bolt Gun. I played all the way through Bolt Gun, so that helps. I'm now much more into the Warhammer universe, and I think I need to get that new Space Marine game because there's just something about a big, bulky, armored guy that's totally sick. I bought this Joy Toy figure from AliExpress. It turns out AliExpress... It's a great place to get Joy Toy. There's a ton of like super legit stores. This one I bought from, you can see there, it's set up super well. They shipped incredibly. They shipped in a box that you wouldn't think is enough to protect it, but as you can see, it arrived super minty and it's very premium. You see like the Joy Toy fancy plastic, it's all wrapped. So let's crack this baby open and see what we can expect from our TMNT Joy Toy figures. So the box art is stellar. If you're not familiar with Warhammer 40k, a big, giant, kind of mutated, because I think they're like genetically modified. I, I was looking at the lore, they have like extra organs and shit. Warhammer universe is crazy. It's like the Doom universe, but on crack. But yeah, so these big, hulky, armored guys, also like religious nuts fighting for the emperor. Oh boy, I can already see, look, you get like a stand, but a trace, look at this freaking figure. Now I think this is one of their bigger figures, 118th scale, it's smaller, so generally they're like 5 inches. The turtles, I think are going to be like 4.1 inches, Bebop and Rocksteady are like 4.5, so I, I think this hulking space marine is just going to be a bigger guy. But good lord, I paid, I don't know, around $50, $60. I'll put the price up here. And already, like, the detail is just freaking impeccable. Look at this gosh dang shield. <laughs> like, this part is, like, rubbery. The sculpt work, the paint is just top-notch. Even on the back. Even on the back, you got these two... This is where the war, the hammer, the war hammer comes in. Oh, oh God. He's like, I think there's two different kinds of birds, maybe? I don't know, but... Unreal. Unreal. The freaking... Oh, the detail. Um, I'm just blown away. Not only, like, the war hammer blocky designs. They're just, they're just something so cool about it, so like hefty and weighty even though it's a very light accessory and then we get two hands like a, a grippy hand and the old trigger finger hand it looks like he's a lefty i like when they make them lefties we have an extra head again super fantastic detail on this guy the eyeballs are it's just they're doing incredible work over here and then our sp <laughs> Holy shit. our space marine man is that loose what is this i don't know if this is supposed to come out if that wasn't glued we'll, we'll look at that in a bit but the detail this is nuts so this is the kind of detail you can expect from joy toy it's just Everywhere you look at this figure, there's something gorgeous to see. My God. The articulation, it, it does feel like buttery smooth. Obviously, he's going to be limited by these giant Frico shoulders, but he's doing the full Townsend, and it's super duper smooth. And then it does look like there's like a double joint in the arms, and look at that. Like, 
independent of the freaking tube thing. And then the hands, pretty normal. He even has <laughs> some ab crunch. Again, the, the huge bulky armor, he's only going to do so much, but he's twisting. And then the legs, again, uh, kind of limited. But how, how limber can a big Freako in armor actually be? So kicking forward, pretty okay. Kicking back, really good. And then, ooh, look at that. For the articulation they've snuck into this big beast is crazy because it's like it extends further in. So that's a double jointed knee even. So he's kind of like a real jolly kick. Obviously the big freaking, you know, whatever. What's a shin? A shin thing. And then the feet. He even has a, a freaking toe hinge. So yeah, the engineering on these figures is wild. And he's just buttery smooth. He's not like sticking at all. That is, is freaking sick. I am a little... I feel like this part wasn't glued as well, or it like came out. I don't know what's going on here. Because it's like, you can see, I don't think it's meant to come off. That, that side is in there really good. And this side, it just like popped out. Well, that, that's, that's not great. But I can, even I could like glue that back in there. I don't know, maybe I don't even need to, but it's just, so it's, it's not like coming out, but yeah, you can't, you can't win them all. And then the head, there's, there's even some good articulation there. I don't know. Okay. The head popped off pretty easy. And again, look at that sick skull. This figure just oozes quality and detail, I'll say that. So there is just like a ball peg in there. I don't know if you can see. How can we? That went in good. Overall, I'm I'm blown away. For 50, uh, yeah, 50, 60 bucks, whatever. The Team and T Joy Toy, 35 each. And then Bebop and Rocksteady, I think we're 45, 50. The, the sculpt, the paintwork, just look how freaking intricate that is. That's... I don't know, that's better than NECA. And then the articulation, again, a, a smaller figure, I suppose. Here's combined with like a loyal subjects right there, which again, apples to oranges, the, the turtles and stuff. But here's like a standard NECA figure. So they're smaller, but 118th scale isn't, oh God, Raf, stick with us, Raf. 118th scale isn't as small as people make it out to be. And if you think about it, turtles in most of the lore most of the canon the turtles are like five feet tall max sometimes they're four and a half feet tall when you have them sitting next to like casey usually they come up to his shoulder so turtles should generally be smaller if you're talking one twelfth scale a one twelfth scale turtle should still be shorter than everybody because they come to like a human shoulder height right so i think when we're, we're used to like six inch seven inch turtles and people call stuff like that one twelfth scale it's still it's totally off i gotta sneeze sorry so when people are worried about the 118th scale Joy Toy Turtles, they are going to be smaller. 4.1 inches is a bit smaller, but dang, look at this freaking guy. How tall is this guy? Let me do some behind the scenes measuring and we'll put up the little, the little, I'll do a little bar. Yep. There's the bar. That's how tall he is. So that's not bad at all, but the detail is just wild. I, I freaking love this. Let's put him. Should we put some... Oh, he, oh, interesting. He, I didn't realize he's wearing the other grippy fist and the other trigger finger hand. So you can, you can, you can swap it about. Let's see how easy it is or not to swap the hands. Okay, it's just a ball peg there. Oh, gosh, that's fucking tight as hell, though. Oh. I'm not going to heat it. I'm not heating shit. It's it's just, it's tiny. I'm going to, with a little, with more, more work in it, I could do it, but how, though, how? Oh, shit. Okay. Is this meant, maybe this is meant to come off? I don't know. Um, 
Like, it looks, honestly, it looks fine without it, but this is ADHD, the review. Um, like, it all slots back in there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was meant to be glued. Maybe it's supposed to come off. Whatever, whatever. Let's, I want to try. Okay, he does have, like, bendy plastic on the hands, right? So it, it seems tight at first, and it is, but you can see. So he has that thing. Let's do the gun. Oh, Jesus Christ. That That's kind of a bitch, but, you know. <laughs> that's so cool. And that's not even, like, the most ridiculous thing. I guess he has to hold the shield on the right hand the way they made it, but... I don't like how tight the hands are. That's... Kind of a problem. I'm not heating this shit up though. Ooh, that, yeah, that hand. I don't, I don't think, I don't believe in heating things if you have to heat them. Shit, the first drop of the dick, god damn. If you have to heat shit up, I, I think it's, it's a failure. So we have this plastic hand, so I'm bending it. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Going from this side? How did you? Fuck, man. This one, it, it's far less pliable than the other one. You know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we get that on there. The arm's gonna have to go through there. This is dicey as hell. It's like here, what I should do now that I've now that I've loosened that part up. Let's do this. You can see it's just it. It's it's the classic case. It's just like molded much smaller. Okay, yeah, you just do, the, the method I, in, I employ is you're pushing as you're twisting, right? So we have that on there. This is cool, but also kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I need to hold the hand open so we get that through there. Jesus Christ, that's just a lot of... A lot of tight clearances on this. I don't even know, even if the hand is open, I don't know how the fuck they expect you to get this on there. Like, am I? I mean, maybe... I don't know, maybe if, maybe if we let that sit a while. Okay, slight update as I've been trying to pose this guy. I did find, to, to make it a little easier, this thing actually pops out. So that's, again, that'll be way easier. So if we just kind of... This is still kind of a pain. The ball the, the ball joint thing is super tight. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so this part, a, a definite pain in the ass. I don't like this part. But we're going we're gonna to do it by God. Okay, okay, sweet Jesus. Okay, so it's a pain, but doable. Look at him. That's freaking cool. And if we put this hammer on there, yeah. So it's not it's not without struggle, but good God, that's uh, 
Um, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but yeah, I, I think TMNT is in good hands with Joy Toy. Their attention to detail, their their build quality, the function, the smoothness of the joints, this is just a 10 out of 10 rad figure. So I am way more excited for the Joy Toy TMNT because the turtles, they're going to be simpler, you know, but they're going to have all that detail and that smooth function. So what we can expect, I think, is a super high detailed $35 figures with great, smooth, crazy articulation. So if you had any doubts, that's what this video is for. But I mean, a, a fucking toe hinge. Who expects a toe hinge on a, on a Marine? Anyways, let me know. Do you collect Joy Toy? I know, I know a ton of people probably do, and they have way better experience than me. And maybe this is a bad Joy Toy figure to get. I don't know. They have like a whole range of them. I'm sure some are better than others. But if this guy is anything to go off of, I'm super excited. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that YouTube shit. Thanks for joining me, folks. Love you all. Take care.